We're so honored the Foodie Girls could be with us tonight. I wasn't going to work, but they told me you were coming in, and so I said, no, I have to be there. I'm at John's in the East Village, and I ordered pasta with the clams in white sauce. Because as you remember from the last episode, I love seafood. Looks really hot. They're here on Saturdays mostly, during the week. Just she's really fresh and good and awesome. And I'm happy. <laughs> Foodie girls still eating their way through New York City. I have myself here some Papadal pasta with a freshly homemade ragu sauce. Oh my goodness. Cooked the meat till it fell off the bone. I'm going in. The sauce is really sweet and so good. I feel like diving into the sauce and living there. So. Oh, it's, it's gelatin. I thought it was like it moves. I thought it was gonna be hard, like a Reese's Pieces. Don't be a mess, stupid. Wow, it's like um vanilla Jello. I had Jello on the tip of my tongue. Right? Yeah, I like, like it. it. Yeah, love it. Vanilla Jello. You know what? You know what? Vanilla the custard jello. If you can, you just got cream on the lens. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. The concierge at our hotel told us this place was 100 years old. Is that 102, 1908. Wow. It's the, one of the 10 oldest continually operated restaurants in the city. Never closed in 200 years. It's only had three owners. Really? There's John, opened it in 1908, built the building. His son took over when he died, and then the current owners bought it from John's son in 72. That's awesome.